Hello, children of St. Mark's, and welcome back to another story oops, from the Royal Story Bible from the Sparkhouse family. Today's story is, that was the last one, is Good Gifts from God. You can follow along on page 62. Um, the Kindle version has a different title, so we'll get to that in a minute. But before we get to the story, do you remember what was happening? Moses went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. Pharaoh said no. God sent all these horrible things like gnats and frogs and death. And till eventually he said, fine, Moses, go. Get out of here. Take your people and go. So Moses led the people out. And then Pharaoh kind of changed his mind and he started to send his army after them. And the people panicked, and they got scared, and they're like, Moses, we would have been better off if we'd stayed as slaves in Egypt. So they, so Moses, remember, he raises his hand, and the waters of the Red Sea, where they're camped, start to move. And the people can see dry land all the way across the sea. So they travel across the dry land through the sea. And behind them, God made the Egyptians' wheels get stuck and other things break down until the people got across to safety. The Hebrew people got across to safety. Moses raised his hands again and the seawall went crashing down. All that water filled in the dry land area where the Egyptians were and all of them got stuck in the sea. So what do you think is going to happen next? If you think about it, have you ever moved a long distance or gone on a really, really long trip? Before you get to where you're going, you're going to need some supplies, right? You have to stop for gas. You might have to stop to use the restroom. And you probably want to stop for food. Back when Moses and his people, the Hebrews or the Israelites, were traveling across the desert, escaping slavery in Egypt. There weren't uh, truck stops and McDonald's and other kinds of places to stop to eat or to refuel or even to sleep. So let's see what happened to them next as they tried to make their way to a new land. And it's called manna and quail. The feet of the Israelites were burning on the hot desert sand. They had been walking in the wilderness for months, but it felt like years. There was no food, no water, and no end in sight. The people complained to Moses, You should have left us in Egypt to die. I'm so hungry. Are you trying to starve us? God whispered a promise in Moses' ear. Moses listened closely. God told Moses that the people would have food, quail, which is a kind of bird, and manna. Moses trusted God. He got ready to talk to the people. Moses raised his arms and quieted the crowd. God heard you complaining, Moses said to the exhausted Israelites. Uh-oh, is God angry, the Israelites wondered. Suddenly, a huge cloud appeared. The voice of God, deep and clear, spoke to them. Tonight, you will eat meat, God announced. And tomorrow, bread. You will know that I am God. That night, a giant covey of quails strutted into camp. What a surprise! The, Israeli, the Israelites filled their bellies with roasted quail. The next morning, flaky manna covered the ground. They picked it up and tasted it. It tastes like bread. It's salty and sweet. The Israelites collected baskets of manna. They had enough to eat each day. God sent manna so they would not be hungry anymore. Wow. So, they have a long journey. 
and they're hungry because there's nowhere to stop along the way. But what happens? God provides everything that they need. They will be traveling for a long time and they have lots of manna and quail, lots of the bread and, and bird to eat. So let's see next time how they feel about all that food. Bye.